गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच वॉट इज अ पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच इज अ पार्ट्स ऑफ अ सेंटेंस दीज पार्ट्स इन अ सेंटेंस विल हेल्प अस टू फ्रेम अ मीनिंगफुल सेंटेंस सो वी हैव एट टाइप्स ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच इन इंग्लिश नाउ लेट एस सी वॉट आर द एट टाइप्स नाउन वर्क प्रोनाउन adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection what are the eight types of parts of speech noun verb pronoun adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection these eight parts of speech help us to make a sentence without these parts no we will not be able to make any sentence in english that is why these eight parts no it is called as parts of speech now let us see what is a noun as we all know noun is a naming word it can be name of a person it can be name of a place thing animal even sometimes an idea also all naming words no it is called as nouns it can be a name of a person place thing or an animal or even idea so let us see the examples of nouns boy fan table babu tamil nadu tiger parrot so all these are naming words isn't it so they are called as nouns so we have five types of nouns let us see about the five types of nouns also now what are the five types of nouns proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract nouns so as we have seen nouns are naming words we have five types of nouns also what are they proper noun common noun collective noun material noun abstract noun so now we can see what is a proper noun yeah noun which denotes a person thing or a place in particular so if a noun if it is denoted in particular it may be a name of a person place or a thing which is in particular we call it as proper noun what is a proper noun if a person place or a thing if it is denoted particularly then it is called as proper noun so let us see some examples also for example uh, muttu stefia femina okay india so all such things no in particularly we are naming it so it is called as proper noun then we can move on to common noun what is a common noun if a noun if it is denoted in general for an example a noun which denotes a person thing or a place in general generally if a person thing or a place if it is denoted then it is said to be a common noun what are the examples boy girl women tree animal country bird so it is called as common noun then what is the next one collective noun so what is a collective noun a noun which denotes a set of persons things or place in group okay so here yeah, when a person place or a thing when it is denoted in group then it is said to be a collective noun okay for example police okay police denotes the entire persons working under police okay police army crowd people committee so all such words no it will come under collective noun next one material noun what is a material noun a noun which denotes a raw material of a product okay so a noun which denotes a raw material any material if it is denoted no then it is said to be a material noun for example gold silver iron wood clay cotton so all these words are called as material nouns what is the last one abstract noun what is an abstract noun a noun which denotes a the things which can be only experienced we can only experience uh, something okay that cannot be seen that cannot be touched those things are you no know, 
they come under abstract nouns for example anger jealous honesty pride happiness knowledge wisdom all such things no we can just experience this we can just feel it we cannot see through our eyes we cannot touch it so they are called as abstract nouns so what are the five types types of nouns proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract nouns proper noun denote things in particular common noun denotes thing in general collective noun denotes things in group material nouns are raw materials abstract nouns say about the feelings no it cannot be touched okay so then next we can move on to verbs what are verbs all action words they come under verbs for example come go sit walk listen so all these words no they are called as verbs verbs are action words so apart from this we have so many other verbs also what are they be form verbs do form verbs have form verbs and modal verbs. now let us see about the be form verbs we have five be form verbs what are they am is are was were okay so am is are these three verbs no they are used in present tense whereas was and were we make use of it in past tense okay so there are five be form verbs am is are was were first three it is used in present tense and the last two it is used in past tense then we have do form verbs we have three do form verbs here do does did do and does it is used in present tense whereas did it is used in past tense then have form verbs like do form verbs have form verbs also has three in number what are they has have had has have it is used in present tense and had it is used in past tense be form verbs do form verbs and have form verbs together they are called as helping verbs they are called as helping verbs then models what are the model verbs can could may might shall should will would all these come under modal verbs okay be form verbs do form verbs have form verbs and models together we call it as auxiliary verbs otherwise it can also be called as helping verbs okay so modal verbs are can could may might shall should will and would they are called as modal verbs so next we are moving to semi models what are semi models have to would to use to need to dare to they are called as semi models they also will come under models only okay have to would to use to need to dare to they are called as semi models okay so next one we can see the main verbs main verbs or action verbs action words okay uh, for example think listen read dance sit so all such things no it is called as main verbs they are denoting an action now let us learn about regular verbs and irregular verbs what are regular verbs when ed or d when it is added to a main verb then it is called as regular verbs we can see some examples now enjoy enjoyed ed is added enjoy it is a main verb along with it we are just adding ed enjoyed dance danced we have added d so with the main verb when ed or d alone it is added then it is called as regular verbs then next one irregular verbs what are irregular verbs when the entire verb it is changed when the entire word when it is changed when changing into past tense then it is said to be a irregular verb for example buy bought so here we are not adding ed so the entire format of the word it is changed here buy bought likewise come came win one arise 
arose so when these words when it is changed into past tense the format of the verb itself it is changed here so it is called as irregular verbs it is said that there are nearly 200 irregular verbs in english there are 200 irregular verbs are there in english okay so regular verbs are verbs where when it is changed into past tense we simply add d or ed examples are enjoy enjoyed dance danced irregular verbs or verbs where when it is changed into past tense the entire format of the word itself will be changed there for example by bought come came when one arise and arose okay next one we can move on to transitive verbs and intransitive verbs what are transitive verbs transitive verbs or verbs which can express an action with an object okay transitive verbs will express an action with an object for example i like ice cream wrong can read for example how to find out an object in a sentence if an object is there in a sentence it will be answering the question what for example i like ice cream what i like i like ice cream ram can read what can uh, ram do he can read so moreover uh, last year itself we have learned about active voices and passive voices it can be changed to passive form i like ice cream ice cream is liked by me ram can read this can be read by ram okay so transitive verbs will have an object okay so whereas intransitive verb intransitive verb express an action without an object so in intransitive verb we will not have any object at all okay so for example i ran fast see here how i ran how i ran i ran fast so it is not answering the question what it is answering the question how so when it is not answering the question what then it is said to be a intransitive verb i ran fast i will come tomorrow okay so transitive verbs will have an object whereas intransitive verbs will not have an object okay so we have learnt about b form verbs okay what are the b form verbs am is or was and were have form verbs have form verbs are have has had do form verbs do does did isn't it then modal verbs semi modals okay and what are the main verbs all the action verbs now it is called as main verbs and we have learnt about regular verbs and irregular verbs also okay regular verbs is added by adding ed or d irregular verbs the entire format of the word itself will be changed there and transitive verbs and intransitive verbs transitive verbs will carry an object whereas intransitive verbs will not carry an object and we have seen the examples also here so the remaining uh, things okay pronoun adjective and adverbs preposition that will be taken in the next class i will give you some assignments for you now students make a tabular column for proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun and i have given you some words here put them in their correct boxes another homework write 10 regular verbs and 10 irregular verbs that is your assignment today thank you